inspiration and ideas for your home. Brought to you by Amish Oak and Americana Furnishings. City of Detroit Lakes Public Utilities. Harvest Homes. Janky Sew and Vac. And Paul Davis. Hi, uh, we're doing For the Home today. And uh, today I have uh, Doug Rapaz with me. He's my uh, regional manager for Mila. And I thought maybe we'd do a little bit of overview about the Mila vacuums, about the Mila company, and we can talk about some of the things that are going on in Mila. Sure. You know? Sure. So um, I guess whenever it comes to Mila, when uh, I've got my little um, elevator spe speech, when you've just got a couple of minutes, um, some things about Mila. Uh, we're, a, we're a German manufacturer. Uh, all of our vacuums are 100% German componentry. Um, they are the only vacuums in the industry where we are manufacturing our own motors, our own electronic components, as well as our own ABS plastic molded bodies. So quality control, you can't really beat a Mila. Because we know it goes into the product, uh, we're able to design a 20 year life expectancy. So really what that's based off of is the average consumer vacuums, about an hour a week, about 50 weeks a year. Multiply that up by 20 years, you get a thousand hours of vacuuming. That's what all Mila's are designed to operate for, in excess of a thousand hours. They are extraordinarily quiet. Uh, probably not a good idea to turn one on right now. You'll kind of have to take our word for it. But children, pets, where you want a little quieter vacuum for a little happier household, Mila's going to help satisfy that. Our HEPA filters are designed for the performance of the vacuum, something that's um, pretty exclusive to Mila when compared to other units out there on the market. Uh, dirtiest secret in vacuuming is filtration. Um, filters in the U.S. Are, are typically designed for a furnace, for an air duct, not necessarily a vacuum, whereas we have filters that are designed for the performance of the vacuum. Um, and then very easy to use. Uh, another demonstration I'm sure Jeff is happy to do in the store here for you someday uh, or possibly in future videos. Um, but uh, units that are seamless from one surface to another, one tool to, uh, one tool to another tool to do the various jobs in a household. So, so very easy to use. So yeah, German, 20 year life expectancy, quiet. Um, they look nice as well. You've got, um, You've got that filtration, you've got that performance, and you've got that ease of use. So things that are typically pretty important to most consumers and when they're shopping for a vacuum. Now they have their, they started out with their basically canister vacuum cleaner? Correct, yeah. And that was like 1924? 1927 was 1927. the launch of the Mila Melior. Okay. Um, and I suppose if you go to our German website, you'll actually see images of our museum where we still have one of those original cabinetry, literally a cabinet that held all of the accessories that went with the vacuum. Um, and since then, yeah, it's only grown. Uh, eight years ago, we launched our first uh, upright in the American market. Um, so yeah, we've been making vacuums, and Jeff can correct me being in the industry longer than I have. Um, we've been making vacuums just about as long as anybody else, and a lot longer than a lot uh, of brands that people are more familiar with these days in the stores. And the way it sounds like, Mila is a lot like Whirlpool and Maytag to the United States. You know, as far as recognition. Yes. You know, if you think of, here we always think of Maytag or Whirlpool as a good product. But uh, also, Mila is worldwide. Mila is absolutely worldwide. Uh, 63 countries, I believe. 63 countries. Um, and, and to that point about, uh, about Maytag and Whirlpool, you know, I think we all have a parent or a grandparent right. that's had a, a set of laundry. Um, for 23 years. Um, I think we've all had a, uh, a mother, grandmother, aunt, whoever that's had an Electrolux that yep. they bought from the door-to-door -door guy yep. uh, 20, 30 years ago. Yep. Um, very few manufacturers are concerned with longevity anymore, which is when you're spending good money on a vacuum, get something that's going to last a long time. So that's, to your point, kind of one place where we've taken the place of those historically very long-lasting products, we're maintaining that tradition of putting out a product that's going to be in the home for a very long time. Well, we thank you for, you know, going over a few of these points with us. My pleasure. And uh, we're, once again, uh, we thank everybody for viewing our 
our, our site that we have going on here. And thanks for considering a meal of vacuum, I suppose. Thank you for watching For the Home, brought to you by Amish Oak and Americana Furnishings. City of Detroit Lakes Public Utilities. Harvest Homes. Janky Sew and Vac. And Paul Davis.